Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. Uh, woke up this morning and uh, had to call, actually uh, the kid's mother called me um, just to, you know, I really can't remember why she even called me. Um, she had called me for something. Oh, so she ended up, yes, I don't remember why she called me. She remember, She ended up, I uh, guess, doing Alyssa's here late last night again. Um, she didn't stomach that she didn't get finished until after 12. And that means that the kids didn't go to bed until after 1 o'clock. Uh, this morning, again, Ethan late for school because, you know, she don't listen. And so Ethan is in summer school to make up for because he's always late, missing school. And even during the summer he just started summer school and it's the same shit over and over again because she refused to listen all right so during last week late at night she uh did uh ethan's hair i think it was on a one of the days out of the week i think it was on, on a monday monday last monday and again you know so anyway so i was supposed to go visit today she's like i oh, don't come don't bother um you know unless you're gonna help me with laundry and i'm like what are you talking about i said you know when you uh she's like yeah you know if you, you can come if if you're gonna help me with the laundry and i said i said pamela when i'm there and you do laundry i don't always have to do the laundry and then she goes oh i said you know what forget it i said you know what i'll stay home if that's how you you want to act that's fine i'll stay home all right so um you know and that's what it is so i'm watching the movie the terminator with um the, the series not movies sorry the series on uh disney plus and there's one scene where this is the first episode and the one scene where the terminators attacking john connor they go to the house him and the female um this female uh, terminator what have you and they're fighting and she takes an electric uh she takes a, a one of those um uh electrical wiring because she, she knocked him down in the basement and she shorted out his system and then you know she gets in the car with uh john and sarah connor and she um you know so she they asked so she sarah connor asked the female terminator did you um take him down and she was like his system reboots in a uh um a hundred and something seconds or whatever anyway as the camera goes back to the terminator male terminator the house and he reboots himself they use the car horn all right again using the white guy he's back I'm like I, I don't really care again you know but this is this is what they'll continue to do because again this is how these white racists have manipulated and use her right because again you know it's it's, it's they use their money to entice these black women but they don't really care about them they're only doing that because again they have a um because i expose what it is that they've been doing and so they have some sort of vendetta uh, some retaliation against me all right and i keep telling her this but she will not listen so that's that's on her I, i'm not worrying about that but again it's a, it's they think that they can always do that to try to manipulate my emotions and shit like that and just like come on now come on you know y'all shit is so played out all right if she's stupid enough to fall for it, that's on her. Whatever comes out of it, that, that's on her. As long as, again, my children is important to me, and as long as she doesn't put them in any danger, I don't really care. So, so what I have to say, so you guys can carry on with y'all nonsense, with y'all repeated uh, um, subliminals and shit like that, right? Because ultimately, you're just mad because I expose your crimes I expose what you've been doing in the black community and to black men and black women and to the Sambos and Sambinas I'm not worried about y'all because I know eventually <laughs> okay these people have no loyalty to you though you may be loyal to them because you're getting a little bit of cheddar right you might be getting a position right and that's one thing about me I don't sell myself for money or for a position all right particularly if you're trying to create some sort of 
a, a um, gatekeeper within me. That's, not, that's never going to happen. That is never going to Because my, my mindset is if I succeed and I rise to the top, my people are coming along with me. It ain't no, um, you know, we got to leave some of them behind. No. We educate the ignorant and we elevate them. We don't leave them behind. We, we don't adopt the white racist mindset, a white Europeans mindset. We don't do that. Okay? When you understand the African mindset, you come into who you truly supposed to be. And they will fight against you because they don't want you to have an African centered mindset. But like I said, if you want to get an example of who they are and what they've done to us, go and read the book, The Golden Stool. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you the exact um, title of it. All right, so the book is called The Golden Stool, Some Aspect of the Conflict of Cultures uh, in Africa. All right, so The Golden Stool, Some Aspect of the Conflict of Cultures in Africa by Edwin Williams, uh, Edwin Williams Smith, All right? So, again, this is why they don't want us particularly, not just black people, but, you know, everybody in general, to not have a conscious mind right and particularly for black people they don't want us to have an african conscious mind because the african mindset and the european mindset is two totally different things okay one is based on the destruction of nature and humankind for profit and greed and pleasure and sadistical uh, uh, pleasure in terms of seeing the destruction of the planet and human beings and the African mindset is one of realizing that we share a symbiotic relationship with this world right the living beings the animals the trees the air that we breathe all right and we venerate and we give thanks right and we believe in life not death not life after death but life here on earth all right and so you'll understand when you read that book, if you do get it, how they transplanted the African mindset and took the best part of that, right? And integrated into their culture and then took the worst part of who they are. Not only the worst part, but who they are and transplanted that into the minds of the Africans. All right, so our minds have been corrupted, have been poisoned, and religion plays a big part of it. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.